Sa Hu Do Re Sa Hu Do Re Welcome Christmas Bring Your Light Sa Hu Do Re Sa Hu Do Re Welcome in the cold dark night Welcome, welcome, Rahu, Rahu, welcome, welcome, Rahu, Rahu, welcome Christmas while we stand heart to heart and hand in hand. Summer they thought the skies were pleasant. On St. Patrick's Day they had a huge pheasant. And the every who got in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Please do ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be perhaps his shoes were too tight. It could be perhaps his head was screwed on just right. But I think the most likely reason of all his heart, two sizes too small. But whatever his reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the booze. Staring down from his cave from the sour bricky throne at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Whoville down in Whoville beneath was busy hanging a mistletoe wreath. And the hang a stocking, he snarled this year. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. And he stirred with his fingers, nervously drumming. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. For tomorrow I know. Every who child below will be bright and early and rush for that toy. And the noise, the noise, that's one thing I hate. All the noise, 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 noise. And the who, young and old, will sit down to a feast. The feast and the feast and the feast, 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 feast. And the feast on who pudding and rare who will feast. That's one feast I can't stand in the least. Then they'll do something I hate most of all. Every who done and who go, the tall and the small, will stand close together. Their curses bells ringing. They'll stand hand in hand, and those who's will start singing. Bahu Doris, Bahu Doris, welcome Christmas, come this way. Bahu Doris, Bahu Doris, welcome Christmas, Christmas Day. Welcome, welcome, Wahoo, Rahu, welcome, welcome, Wahoo. Rahu, Christmas Day is in our grass, so long as we have him to crash. Rahu, don't his And they'll sing, and they'll sing, and they'll sing, 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 sing. And the more the bridge thought of Christmas thing, the more Christmas thought, I must stop this whole thing. For years and years I put up with it, now I must stop some way to keep Christmas from coming. But how? They got an idea, an awful idea. He got a wonderful, awful idea. He knew what to do. He walked in the school and he made a Santa Claus hat and a coat. He chuckled and caught, what a grinchy trick. This coat and this hat. Just like St. Nick. Na 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 na. a mean one. Mr. Grinch. Really are the heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. <laughs> You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 
39 and a half foot pole. Oh, I need get a reindeer. The Grinch looked around. This is reindeer where spirits were known to be found. That's not the Grinch. Ha! He simply said, if I can find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. He took his dog Max, and he took some black thread, and he tied a big horn to the top of his head. Then he rolled some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh. And he hitched up old Max. And he said, get out, and the sleds are down toward the hooves they had snooze in their town. All the windows were dark. No one knew he was there. All the hooves were dreaming sweet dreams without care. And he came to the first house on the square. And then stop number one. The, the grin simply hissed and he climbed to the roof and he banged through his fist. He climbed to the chimney. I'd rather pay attention, but I said he could do it than so could, could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a minute or two. He stuck his head out and the fireplace blew with all the stockings from all the row. These stockings, the Grinch, are the first thing to go. They slithered and slunk with a smile with them press. Unpleasant, around the whole room, he took a great present. Pop and roller skates, bicycles, drums, checkerboards, video games, popcorn, and plums. He stuffed all that food, stuffed the, well, we just saw the chimney with glee. And now, I will stuff up the tree. took the tree and he started to shove and he saw it sort of fall down. <gasps> the cool the dove he turned around past the small nun who, little Cindy Lou who, who was no more than two. He stared at the grin. Santa Claus, why? Why are you picking our Christmas tree? Why? Why, my sweet little girl, the big Cindy Claus, why? There's a light of the tree will light light on one side. I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up here. I'm bringing it up back here. This good fool the child and he patted her head and he got her a drink and fed her to bed. And Cindy Lou Who was in bed with her cup, he plugged up the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then he left the chimney himself the old water and the lackey he took with a log for the fire. The walls left nothing but hooks of wire. And the one speck of food he left in the house was a crumb that was too small for a mouse. He did the same thing to the other who houses, leaving from what you fall to the other who houses. Wait a minute! There's the porch at dawn, all the who's still in bed, all the who's still smooth, as he packed the sled. Ten thousand feet up, off the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was graciously humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up, I know just what they'll do. Their mouth will hang up in a minute or two. Then the who's are in who's that will all cry boo hoo. At the noise, grin the Grinch, and I simply must hear. We paused. Then the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did the sound rising over the snow. Started in low. Then it started to grow. That's all our present. I bet that Grinch. That's why I'm trying to tell him my father last night. We're still our present. Well, I'm glad the Grinch stole our present. You are? Yes, go over your gift to my family.
he hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch with his feet ice cold in the snow was puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. Puzzled and puzzled till brain was quite sore. And the Grinch thought something he had for. Maybe Christmas. That didn't come from the store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, needs a little bit more. But what happened then? Well, in Google they say, the Grinch's fall heart grew three sizes that day. And then, the true meaning of Christmas finally came through, and the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches, plus two. Hmm. And that was his heart didn't feel quite so tight. He was the world to the right morning light. It was finally slowly descended out of it, cheerfully blowing hoo hoo on his trumpet. He brought everything back and the food for the feast. And he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Welcome Christmas, come this way. Welcome Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas is in our grasp, as long as we have, have hands to craft. Christmas time will always be, just as long as we have these. Welcome Christmas while we stand. Heart to heart and hand in hand. Merry Christmas! She brought forth her firstborn son and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them in the end. Then there were in the east shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord was everywhere. They were afraid. And the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, a message for the people of the world. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This shall be a sign unto you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts waiting God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace, the will toward men. And there were in the east wise men, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen the star of the east, and are here to worship him. Then seeing the baby in the stable, they bowed down and worshipped him from gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Then being warned in a dream he should not return to Herod, he departed in another way. The shepherds also departed, glorifying God all they had heard and seen. But Mary pondered these things in her heart. I let night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Brown yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Christmas Eve, many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound a friend had told me I'd never hear, the ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted, but I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I did hear sounds, 
though not of ringing bells. From outside came the sounds of hissing steam and squeaking metal. I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put on my slippers and robe. I tiptoed downstairs and out the door. All aboard, the conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said, are you coming? Where, I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand, and he pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and ate candies with nougat centers as white as snow. We drank hot cocoa as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. Soon there were no more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roamed and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. We climbed mountains so high it seemed as if we would scrape the moon. But the Polar Express never slowed down. Faster and faster we ran along, rolling over peaks and through valleys like a car on a roller coaster. Mountains turned into hills, the hills to snow-covered plains. We crossed a barren desert of ice, the great polar ice cap. Lights appeared in the distance. They looked like the lights of a strange ocean liner sailing on a frozen sea. There, said the conductor, is the North Pole. The North Pole, it was a huge city standing alone at the top of the world, filled with factories where every Christmas toy was made. At first, we saw no elves. They're gathering at the center of the city, the conductor told us. That is where Santa will give the first gift of Christmas. Who receives the first gift? We all asked. The conductor answered, he will choose one of you. Look, shouted one of the children, the elves. Outside, we saw hundreds of elves. As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, 
we slowed to a crawl. So crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no farther, we stopped, and the conductor led us outside. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of a large open circle. In front of us stood Santa's sleigh. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced, ringing the silver sleigh bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound, like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart and Santa Claus appeared. The elves cheered wildly. He marched over to us and pointing to me, said, let's have this fellow here. He jumped into his sleigh. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knee and he asked, now, what would you like for Christmas? I knew that I could have any gift I could imagine, but the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked, Santa smiled, then he gave me a hug and told an elf to cut a bell from a reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it up to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him and called out, the first gift of Christmas. A clock struck midnight as the elves roared their approval. Santa handed the bell to me, and I put it in my bathrobe pocket. The conductor helped me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out the reindeer's names and cracked his whip. His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us then disappeared in the cold, dark, polar sky. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked to see the bell. I reached into my pocket, but the only thing I felt was a hole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa Claus's sleigh. Let's hurry outside and look for it, one of the children said. But the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving. We were on our way home. It broke my heart to lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left the other children. I stood at my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor said something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled out. He cupped his hands around his mouth. Merry Christmas, he shouted. The Polar Express let out a loud blast from its whistle and sped away. On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents. When it looked as if everything had been unwrapped, Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside was the silver bell. 
There was a note. Found this on the seat of my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket. Signed, Mr. C. I shook the bell. It made the most beautiful sound my sister and I had ever heard. But my mother said, oh, that's too bad. Yes, said my father, it's broken. When I'd shaken the bell, my parents had not heard a sound. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell, but as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear its sweet sound. Though I've grown old, the bell still rings for me as it does for all who truly Dressed in holiday style In the air there's a feeling of Christmas Children laughing, people passing Meeting smile after smile And on every street corner you hear Silver bells Silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. Ring a ling, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Strings of street lights, even stoplights, bring a bright red and green. As the shoppers rush home with their treasures, children hear the snow crunch, see the kids bunch. This is Santa's big scheme, and above all this bustle, you hear silver bells, silver bells. It's Christmas time in the city. Ring a ling, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Try to do what's right with star seeding light. Make my wish come true. Why can't we join hands around one tree and live to let it be? May Christmas last forever. When Santa's riding in his magic sleigh, all around the world is that today. When the night runs through the stages, he makes his trip with love to get away. Hear him say, it's Christmas. All over the world tonight, it's Christmas, all over the world, all my life, I learned if I was good, did everything I should, the dreams would all come true. I can see a special time when we join hands around one tree. May Christmas last forever. When Santa's riding in his magic sleigh, oh, 
world, all around the world, and that today, when the night was through with sad and death, he makes his trip with love to give away. Hear him say, it's Christmas all over the world tonight. It's Christmas all over the world. It's the time of the year with peace and good cheer and worlds of the love of the night. A oh, peace and delight of the birth of the bride, of the birth of that heavenly child on that night. It's Christmas in New York and Square, in London and Paris, it's Christmas again. It's Christmas, so let your heart sing. Take time to enjoy it, the peace it can bring. Remember the message of cheer, rejoicing the spirit of why we are here. It's Christmas, so let your thighs in, a time to enjoy it. It's Christmas all over the world. Remember the message of cheer, rejoicing the spirit of why we are here. It's Christmas, so let your heart sing. Take time to enjoy it. It's Christmas all over the world. It's in the singing of a street quarter choir. It's going home and getting warm by the fire. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. A fire child who will always remember, a season that will always remember. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It is the season of the heart, a special time of caring. The days of love may clear. Yes, it is. The season of the spirit, the message that we hear it is make it last all year. Ha, 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 ha. It's in the giving of a gift to another, a pair of mittens that were made by your mother. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. A far childhood will always remember, it is the summer in the soul of December. Yes, when we're true, where, wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It is the season of the heart, a special time of caring, the ways of love made clear. It is the season of the spirit, a message that we hear it, is make it last all year. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's in the singing of a street quarter choir. It's going home getting warm by the fire. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It's true wherever you find love, it feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. It feels like Christmas. Ha, 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 ha. It feels like Christmas. Silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Round